This is an MVS 26. This is the shape of things to come in the Mini Pack Corporation. So they've uh, changed the look of their machines. Instead of having a straight flat flat front, you now have a uh, control panel that's actually inset into that. So it's a little bit easier to clean when you make a mess out of the front of the machine. Uh, the MVS-26 is a little bit differently designed chamber than the ones they've had before, so it's a little bit shorter, let's say not as deep, and a little bit longer. So the biggest bag you can put in the MVS-26 is a 10 by 15 inch bag. So this is a 10 inch wide bag here, and you can see it stretches just across the heat seal bar. And once again, in a chamber style machine, we don't want to be tucking that bag way down inside because you can't get the air out of it that way. Um, the lid in the MVS-26 is on a set of gas shocks, which uh, prop it open for you. So it's uh, real easy to load. And the lid opens automatically anytime, you, anytime the heat cycle is complete. And once again, the object of the game here is to let the pump run and have the bag sitting inside the chambers and flat across the heat seal bar so the air can be extracted from the bag without running an extended cycle or working your pump a little bit too hard. Uh, when we get up to 99.9% .9 of the air, the heat cycle is going to come on and that will jump the heat bar up against the top of the lid. The air gets let back into the chamber and the MBS 26 does have a little bit slower DVAC on it which actually lays the plastic down on your food a little bit slower. So. Um, there are some people that believe that because of that, then the bones don't have as much chance to puncture the bag as if you have a fast inrush of air. And the bottom line is that you get a real nice vacuum packed bag in this machine. You can tear off that extra piece of bag material so that you have a nice clean seal and a good looking package. So the controls on the MVS-26 are fewer words and more pictures. Um, the first um, indicator over here is the amount of air that's coming out. Uh, the second indicator is the amount of air that's going into the chamber. Uh, you have a red stop button. You have the same uh, settings button and you have the same up and down arrows here. The seal button is here and the um, the DVAC button is over here. This is the DVAC indicator. So for instance, when you want to change the settings on P1, uh, push S, the light on the amount of vacuum that you get is going to light up. And at this case, we're punching out 99.9% .9 of the air. It is adjustable, so if you didn't want to drag quite so much air out of the bag, you can lower the amount down. Um, for this particular setting, we're going to keep it at 99.9. .9. When you push S again, you'll have the extended vacuum. And once again, I really don't use the extended vacuum unless you're doing something that, like a meat product that you want to make sure you get all of the air out of um, for a, like a retort pouch or some other type of pouch that doesn't, I mean, just for freezing, I've never found that running much past 99.9% .9 of the air really does you much good. Um, the settings, button again will give you a gas flush and in this case this machine is not equipped with gas flush so we'll leave those settings at zero. The heat seal is adjustable right now we're running 1.7 you can punch the buttons up or down so you can run a little bit more setting on it or a little less setting on it and then you're back to P1.